Hey everyone, this is Ms. Moffat from Across the Litiverse. I've crossed over into the world of e-reading. Though I admit, I still have my reservations. I got this Kobo Touch last year for my birthday. I was planning on checking out more advanced reading copies on NetGalley, and I hate trying to read books on my backlit computer screen. Enter the e-reader, a stepping stone between EPUB files on my computer and the familiar world of the paperback. I like e-ink technology. I find it far easier on the eyes for starters. Plus, the Kobo's lightweight, so flipping through the giant tome of Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, for example, is also easier on the hands. However, acquiring books from Kobo is not so straightforward. I don't like using my credit card online. I buy gift cards, load them onto a user account, and then draw from that source when I make a purchase. I bought two $10 Kobo gift cards the first time around. When I downloaded my Sherlock Holmes collection, my bill came to just over $10. After applying my first gift card, I discovered you could only use one per purchase. One. I owed 42 cents. And after I was forced to use my credit card, I was charged an extra dollar as a processing fee. Yep. After that incident, I looked at books with greater caution. I would not be duped again. And that's when I discovered out-of-print physical books with an available EPUB file ripe for the downloading. In particular, the Doctor Who novel A Stone Rose, which is now considered canon by Russell T. Davies himself. I was over the moon. I used a promo code and a gift card to download that title to my e-reader, only to discover I didn't get the cover art for the book. Granted, this is a black and white screen, so the cover art doesn't look too thrilling. But still, I felt oddly cheated. I felt as though I'd walked to a cash register with the book in tow, only to have the cashier rip off the cover of the book before asking me if I wanted a bag with that. Seriously, I don't know how to take this. The pros and cons are evenly weighted whenever I look at this issue. I've only purchased two books so far, and they've both had their unique problems. I I like the e-reader's portability, and I like that I'm not plugged into my computer at all hours. And gaining access to out-of-print books is a solid sell for me. Conundrums. So viewers, I'm curious. Do you have an e-reader? If so, which reader? And have you experienced similar issues with your device? Or have you had a different experience? I can't be alone on this one, right? Leave a comment below or send a video response. I'd like to compare notes here. Signing off.